A government watchdog is accusing White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre of violating the Hatch Act by repeatedly calling out mega MAGA Republicans ahead of the 2022 midterm elections. Unfortunately, we have seen mega MAGA Republican officials who don't believe in the rule of law. They refuse to accept the results of free and fair elections. Oh, the irony, since Jean-Pierre has repeatedly cited the act to avoid answering questions. The Hatch Act, I am covered on the, the Hatch Act. So look, um, I need to be careful, the Hatch Act. I'm covered by the Hatch Act. I am covered by the Hatch Act, which I'm happy to say over and over again, because we believe in the rule of law here. I'm gonna be very careful from here, as you know, uh, because we are covered by the Hatch Act, and I'm not gonna speak further to his process, because we are covered by the Hatch Act, so I'm not gonna speak to politics. As you know, uh, we follow the Hatch Act here uh, in this administration. Outkick her, Tommy <laughs> oh, is no. not bound by the Hatch Act. She joins us now. Uh, what do you make of this selective self-enforcement by KJP of the Hatch Act? Oh, my goodness. A Democrat is going to violate a law or a policy and there will be zero repercussions or consequences. Todd knocked me over with a feather. <laughs> I never could have predicted that. Hey, listen, of all of everything that Corrine Jean-Pierre has done from that podium, from that lectern, from that stand, you know, this probably is smaller in comparison to some of the other things, some of the other things she's committed from standing there. But I'll also tell you this, going back to this mega Republican thing, this is them trying to make fetch happen. Anybody that's seen Mean Girls, yes. they repeatedly say the mega Republicans, the mega Republicans, like this is some sort of an insult. But what they don't understand is that most Republicans, most conservatives are very proud to be make America great again, Republicans and conservatives. So, Corrine Jean-Pierre, not only did you violate the Hatch Act, but you did it in a way that was meant to insult us, but it really didn't. So better luck next time. Tommy, a new poll found that 80 percent of Democratic primary, primary voters think that President Biden should debate RFK Jr. And Marianne Williamson, and that includes 72% of his own supporters. And I have a feeling that if California Governor Gavin Newsom got in the race, that no those numbers would uh, go up even more. Uh, here is the governor on 2024 yesterday with Sean Hannity. Watch this. There are people urging you to run for president and primary him. Am I wrong in my assumption? Well, my phone's been lighting up how well he did with the UK prime minister. My phone lit up and how he that's schooled. Not my, that's a nice talk. McCarthy on the debt Does ceiling. Does your phone light up? My phone lights up with Republican friends saying, you know what, despite all of the rhetoric, maybe he's done a little bit better job than but some But that wasn't suggested. my question. So what do you think, Tommy? Is he gonna run? Uh, I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to run. And there are several things that lead me to believe that. First of all, touring around red states, trying to convince those people in those red states, a lot that have actually fled from California, that he is the greatest governor in America, which we know is not true. But also, if you look at his constant jabs at Ron DeSantis and other red state governors, but particularly Ron DeSantis on social media, that's another indication. And then also, I love Sean Hannity. I love Fox News. But there would be no reason for Gavin Newsom him to sit down in front of our audience unless he wanted to convince our audience that he is a possible contender for that White House. So, folks, I have got to reiterate this as clearly as I can. I believe Gavin Newsom is going to run in 2024. I don't believe he's going to take on Joe Biden. I believe he is going to be the Democrat nominee. I believe the DNC, the Democrat Party, is going to install him in that position. There is no doubt in my mind. And Americans, I know that it's easy to underestimate this guy because California is such a mess, but I can't be more clear about this. Do not underestimate Gavin Newsom. If you watched him last night with Sean Hannity, you know that he is slick, he is charismatic, and he lies but he lies with conviction. And that's something that is very dangerous for American voters who are unfamiliar with his policies in California. So be warned, yeah. I believe he's going to be the Democrat okay, nominee. But, but quickly, how do the Democrats get rid of Biden and Harris under your assumption? So I think that things are going to heat up in this Biden crime family investigation. I don't think they're going to be able to run from House oversight much longer. Mm. And once the Democrats start seeing the writing on the wall on this, and they also see Joe continually stumble and the Democratic Party not wanting him as their nominee, I believe they will find a way to wow. usher him out. Tommy I believe Senate. they will find a way to get Kamala Harris out. Fox and, and I friends believe now. They I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.